guys and welcome back to another video my name is destiny and we do all kinds of things here actually um and today we're going to talk about books that feel like fall to me so if you want to see that keep watching So the first book I have on my list that feels like fall is Anatomy, A Love Story. I can't remember who it's by. This one follows a girl in the early 1800s who is uh, she is looking to study anatomy and is put out of school because it's a boys only club and the teacher tells her if you can pass the anatomy exam i will train you i will take you as my apprentice but won't allow her to go to class won't let her study with her peers so she ends up getting the help of a resurrection man basically it's these men who go dig up graves to bring dead bodies to anatomy schools and she convinces him to go dig up her dead body so she can study them and her love story with the resurrection resurrection man this one to me feels like fall is a gothic kind of story it's a coming of age for a young girl I absolutely loved it I read it last fall winter and in my head it's always going to be a fall book it may be a fall reread for me next is stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Moscalo I could be saying her last name wrong um this one follows Avery. I had to think about her name. Avery. Avery is in London at the same time Jack the Ripper is murdering a uh, woman of the night. She goes with her uncle to visit one of the murder scenes because her uncle happens to be the, mor the, uh, the mortician in the town. So she works with her uncle studying again anatomy studying the bodies and she sets out with thomas to figure out who is jack the ripper thomas is another student from her uncle's anatomy class that he teaches officially that ends up roped up roped into this there's a whole series i have finished stalking jack the ripper and hunting prince dracula i have not moved on with the series it might be another uh, library rental our library book checked out in the month of October but I have read the first two and the first one to me just feels like fall that cozy feeling where you're just wanting to hunt down what's going on you want to stay inside and not move when you read that the second one to me Honey Prince Dracula if you read Stalking Dr. Ripper now Honey Prince Dracula to me is a winter book it takes place in winter they are in the Romanian countryside. They are walking through snow to get to town. It's very much a winter book. So if you read Dr. Stalking Jack the Ripper now, you can definitely pick up Hunting Prince Dracula in the winter. Next is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This one, I can't tell you when it takes place, but the eerie feeling you get from this book just belongs in fall to me. So And There Were None is... A story of Miss Christie's where 10 people are sent to this island and are told that hey don't worry the the basically the people who are inviting you your hostess is what it is Their, your host will be here a little later uh, there's food let's go ahead and you know, get you fed and lay down they'll be back later well the hosts never show up and when they go to dinner the second night in I believe either second or first or second night there's a creepy recording that seems to know every wrongdoing these people have done and they start dying one by one by one there's a creepy little rhyme that is i want to say on a clock somewhere and they all start dying according to this creepy little rhyme and you're trying to figure out who's murdering them what's going on it seems like they're the only people on this island the even the servants that were supposed to be waiting on them have left so they don't even know what's going on. 
Next is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This one, I have read three Grady Hendrix. I've read Final Girl Support Group. I've read uh, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and My Best Friend's Exorcism. If I had to assign a season to each one, My Best Friend's Exorcism would definitely be fall. My uh, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires to me is summer. I think that's because my memories of the 90s are very much summer based and I remember the back door being open, my mother deep cleaning and like it just feels like summer to me when I think back on that time. So to me that one's summer and then Final Girl Support Group, I would have to put it in winter. It's one of those that you want to read it when you can't really go anywhere. Um, it was my least favorite of the Hendrix, of Hendrix books that I've read. And I'm still, I, I liked it enough to continue with his works, but I didn't like it enough that I would recommend it. But My Best Friend's Exorcism is set in the 80s. It is definitely 80s horror movie-esque. If you don't like the 80s, I think you will still like this book. I'm not a big fan of the 80s. It's not a decade I like personally. I still enjoyed this book and absolutely loved it. It is a page turner. It is kind of campy if I have that definition of that word correctly it's kind of campy kind of kooky very very 80s horror movie where you're like what the fuck is going on what is going on um but for me I put it in the fall even though it takes place more summer into fall um I put it in the fall because that's when I read it and so to me the events all happened in fall even though it's definitely more of that summer into fall, like early September feel. The last one on my list is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. If you've never read this book, you've never heard of this book, I know it was big on, I want to say it was big on booktube when I started, but I have not heard anyone talk about it since, and it does have a sequel, and the name of it is eluding me. It does have a second one, it's Deathless Divide. <laughs> This one follows, I can't even think of her, the main character's name. It follows uh, the world where Gettysburg happens and instead of every all the men being dead, the next day they get up and they're they start walking again. They're the walking dead. They're zombies. And instead of the enslaved people heading off to be um, the slave... The enslaved people are freed and go to combat schools to be assistants to the rich white people and keep them safe from said shamblers is what they call them. And you're following a, I can't think of her name to save my life. You're following her as she's in combat school and they're headed to go to a rich person's house that she's basically auditioning. It's her last year. She's auditioning for the right and the privilege of being their attendee and shit kind of explodes. This one's fall and the fact of I like reading fast paced page turners in the fall. I want something that's going to hold my attention. I want something that I can cozy up with and want to like live in for a while. De Dread Nation is definitely one of those. Um, she, our main character, and I'm, it's one of my favorites. I can't remember her name to save my life right now. She is so witty and smart ass and says what she wants and doesn't give a fuck what you think. And I love that so much. Um, Deathless, Deathless, Deathless Divide. The way it ended, I hope Miss Ireland is working on another book. I don't know if she is or not, but I would read anything she wrote because it is so interesting like the world itself is so interesting i'm now think i'm gonna do a reread first of 2024 because i love this so much when it came out and i i still do i'm talking about it and getting chills and just want to go back to live in that time it is set in the civil war and so um part of the setting is the west which is not a spoil it's it, it's a loose spoiler um Part of the setting is not where she is. She is in the South. She's in South Carolina, North Carolina, one of the Carolinas, I think. Um, 
And when shit explodes, she ends up having to go to another part of the world, an, an, an un, unexplored part of the world. And you learn more about Shamblers and what they are, who they are, how they're fighting them, how they're trying to build towns where there are Shamblers. And everyone who dies turns into a Shambler. So it's a lot of interest there. There is some political interest in the way that it's being ran. There is racism, obviously. Um, and she does face a lot of racism. But I love this so much. And it's definitely such a fall book for me. Um, yeah, those are all the ones I would recommend. I have a few more on my mind that I am making a list. Every time I come across a book that feels like fall, or I go, oh yeah, I read that book. You know what, that'd be a really good one to read this fall. I'm writing it down for you guys, so there might be a part two to this video. Let me know if you want it. Let me know if you've read any of these. Do you agree? Are they fall books to you? Or would you put them in a different season? Do you feel like they belong somewhere else? And I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys. <sighs> Isabella.